going to be starting our Stamperia Spring Botanic Album and we are going to also be making a box for this okay I wanted to go over what you're gonna need for your mini album to get started okay so your art glitter glue you're going to need your scissors and your ruler okay you are also going to need your score tape and you're also going to need um, a trimmer and you're going to need a scoreboard. Okay, let's set this aside right over here. Then you're going to need your Stamperia paper. So you're going to go ahead and grab that. Uh, in, we'll be using that in just a bit. Then you'll have your flowers, your frame from DB, DBS okay which is designs by Shelly and you guys I cannot get over these frames okay they she has an array of different colors and they're so awesome um, and then you're gonna need some circle dies okay and these are Elizabeth craft dies and you can find all of this over at um, JS hobbies and crafts online store or inside the store um, you will need your white cardstock a 10 pack which is by heartfelt creations and then you will also need your um, your um, chipboard okay and these are 12 by 12 so we are going to go ahead and get started with making the mini album first okay hi guys so now you will uh, go ahead and cut your chipboard and you'll need one piece that is two and a half by seven and a half okay and that's the piece that I'm showing you right here okay and you'll just need one of those then you're going to need two pieces that are cut at two by seven and a half okay and those are going to be one's going to be our spine and the other one is going to be uh, for um, our flipping over our flat <laughs> then you'll need two pieces at four and a half by seven and a half and that is what you're going to need for your album okay so now we're going to go ahead and get ready to make our binding for our album and you're going to take a 12 by 12 sheet of paper and you're going to go ahead and cut that down to 7 and 3 eighths by 9 okay and then you're going to go ahead and score a half inch all the way down starting at 2 and then you're going to um, go ahead and um, go down to 7 okay so here I'm just showing you all how where we're gonna go ahead and cut the paper and um, and where we're scoring okay and then we will go ahead and get started here in just a minute then you're gonna go ahead and score and we're gonna start with two okay and you're gonna go every half inch so you're gonna go two and a half three three and a half four, four and a half, five, all the way down to seven, okay? And yes, we are only doing three pages in this um, mini album, okay? We do not need to have a bunch of pages um, because we are going to be actually designing a box to go with this as well. So, um... I think I have some little pencil marks on there. I was marking with my pencil earlier and I think I got some of my pencil marks on my board here. So you're just going to go ahead and fold this, okay? And you're just going to go ahead and fold it forwards and backwards and forwards and backwards, okay? And all the way down just like this and then I kind of want to go over gluing the back with you because um, I kind of found an easy way that I thought um, would be easy for people to kind of glue their back together so um, 
So once um, you have everything folded up and everything, um, I want you to go over your first score line and your second score line you're going to skip. And what you're going to do is you're going to mark the third score line at 1. So we're going to score that up or mark it at 1. You're going to go over to the next third score line and you're going to mark that at 2. Then you're going to count over to your third score line from the 2. Okay, so 1, 2, 3, and you're going to mark it at 3. And those are going to be your three pages. And that's where you need to go ahead and fold your score line upward. Okay, so you have a mountain. Okay, so like this. All right, just like that. And you can get your bone folder and um, kind of uh, burnish that down. Go to the number two, fold it up, and burnish that down. And then the same thing with number three, you're going to fold that upward. Lay that down, and you're going to burnish that down like that. Okay, and then you can go ahead and fold this one backward, just like that. Okay, just like that. So now you have some valley, um, some peaks and valleys. Okay, and you're going to go ahead and fold your um, your number three over. You're going to burnish those in. Okay, number two, you're going to go ahead and fold over, bring that to a peak, burnish that in, and same thing with number one. Bring it in, fold it over, and burnish those down. Once you get those burnished down, you can go ahead, fold them back the other way, and burnish them down. Now we haven't glued anything down yet, Okay, and that is because I wanted it like this, so that way when you fold, flip it over, you have your valleys. Okay, those are your binding for your pages you're going to slip in. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to grab your glue or you're going to grab your tape, whatever you prefer to use. Okay, and I'm just going to grab my glue and I'm actually going to put my glue on just like this. Okay. Put some right in that valley. Put some on the other side here. And I'm going to smush that together. I'm going to lay it down. And I'm going to go ahead and grab my bone folder and put that together. Okay, it's going to glue together. I'm going to lay that down and just simply glue it together. Okay, burnish it down really good. I'm just trying to make sure that I don't get the glue in my scoreboard here. Okay, and there is one page. Okay, the next valley, you're going to do the same thing. Put your glue right in that valley. Okay, bring your glue up and over. Whoops, just like that. Bring your glue up and over. Now, if you're used to using your score tape at this time, you can do that. Um, it's just the same technique, okay? And I'm going to go ahead and I'll, I'll show you with the, with the score tape. And then, again, you're going to grab your bone folder and just smush that down. Just burnish that down, okay? And um, I'm going to go ahead, again, burnish that down really, really good. So there is your next page, all right? So now you've got two that are done. Now, if you're going to use the score tape, you're going to do the same thing. Now, you can use score tape with your glue. So I'm just going to open up this package of score tape. You can find this over at JS Hobbies and Crafts. All right, you're going to open up your little valley there, and you're going to go ahead and grab your score tape down. Okay. And I have, I usually have my tool here, which I don't know where it went. Okay. 
I'm just going to use a little gift card I have. And you can go ahead and just tape that out like that. Okay. I have to look for my little scraper. And again, you're just going to go ahead and take that out. Then what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and just burnish that in with your um, tool here. Okay. Take off your tape. Now, if it's really humid where you are, you can go ahead and add a little bit of glue. So I'm adding just a little bit of glue. I'm going to add it right there in the center and on the sides here, just like that. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and fold that down, fold it over, and I'm going to burnish that in really, really good. Okay just like that. Sorry, it's cleaning out my the glue that was in the grooves there. Okay, so now you've got your um, and you've got your little pages done. So, so now what you're going to do is you're going to fold these backwards. So on that first score line, you're going to fold this back, just like this, okay? Now you can add tape or you can use glue, whatever you want, and then on the, on the other side, you're going to go ahead and fold that back as well, okay? So when you're done, it's going to look like this, okay? Oops. Okay, just like that, okay? <laughs> Alrighty. Okay, so I'm going to add my tape here and here, okay, and then um, I will be um, right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. So I went ahead and, um, and put the tape on either side of my little flaps here, okay? So now I'm just going to take off that tape. And again, if you want to, you can definitely add glue to this, okay? And I'm just going to go ahead and I'm just going to add glue like around um, the edges of my flap here. And then probably right down the center here. Down that um, little score line. And I'm just going to take this and I'm going to go ahead and fold it over. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and burnish that down really good. And I guess I should move my score, my score um, here. So, because right. I keep getting uh, pencil marks on it on this. <laughs> so, okay. So next, we're going to go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. I'm just going to take off this tape here. And I'm going to put glue down that score line right there. Bring my glue over to the edges. Okay, just like that. And I'm going to fold it over. Just like that. Okay. There we go. Just like that okay and again this is where you can go ahead and I usually um, move my um, little binders uh, little flaps here back and forth so that way they're easy to really turn when I put my pages in so um, and then I'm just gonna grab my eraser and erase some of these little pencil marks here. Even though we're going to cover this. Okay. Just like that. 
Now, if you have any excess like tape hanging over or anything like that, you can always grab your scissors. And excuse my scissors the way they look, y'all. <laughs> I've been crafting with them. Uh, you're just going to go ahead and kind of cut off that excess tape, okay? And make sure that you don't have any pokies on the bottom there, okay? Poking out, little tape's poking out there, okay? And now we're done with our hinge, okay? So this part right here, if you have excess hanging off right here, you can definitely just cut that off, okay? And I'm just going to grab my scissors. And cut that off. That way it's all even and I don't have to worry about it later when we're putting it onto our book. Okay. There we go. There you go. So that is exactly how it should look and that will fit on our two inch um, spine. Okay, so we're going to go ahead now that we have this done, we're going to go ahead and put this aside. All right, so that's going to be put aside and now we're going to go ahead and get to covering our book. Okay guys, <laughs> so now we're going to go ahead and cover our book. So next what we're going to do is we're going to take our two 12 by 12 pieces of paper okay and we are going to go ahead and mark where we're gonna set our um, chipboard pieces okay so because I don't want to waste a whole lot of paper okay I am going to go ahead and lay everything out all right and what I want is I want about an inch from this bottom piece over okay you're going to lay one piece of your um, 12 by 12 paper over the other piece okay and so that's what you're gonna do and I'm just gonna line my pieces up with my grid here okay so I just find it easier for me to uh, make sure everything is on there straight so I'm just gonna go ahead and lay my pieces down here just like this just like that I'll lay this one on top of here just like that okay so I know it's straight okay alrighty so next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my ruler and I am going to go ahead and measure in an inch from here over, okay? And I'm just going to make a little tally mark. So I'm just making a little tally mark right there, an inch, all right? And I want to make sure it's about an inch from here, from the bottom too. So I'm taking, and actually I'm just going to do about a, an inch and a quarter. So I'm going to go ahead and mark it right there so I know that that's my corner area that's where I want to lay my first um, chipboard piece but I think you know what I might go ahead and switch I might go ahead and mark I think I might go ahead and mark it over an, a quarter of an inch. So I'm going to erase that piece, put this here, and mark it over um, an inch and a quarter. Um, I just like to have a larger um, I like to have a, just a larger area to play with. So um, when I cover my book okay so there's that so it's about an, uh, an inch and a quarter here and about an inch 
and I'm going to mark an inch and a quarter from there too. So I'm going to go ahead and mark an inch and a quarter up from there. So there is my little corner piece right there, just like that, okay? So I know that I have an inch and a quarter here, right there, and I have an inch and a quarter down here, okay? Same thing for up here. I'm gonna go ahead and mark an inch and a quarter from here. So I'm putting my ruler at the in, uh, one in a quarter inch, and I'm just gonna mark it here. So I know that's where I need to cut this paper at, okay? So to do that, so next we're going to go ahead and just grab our pieces. We're going to take these off of here, okay? And we're going to go ahead and cut this here. Now for a, um, a measurement uh, on this here, I usually, sometimes I'll use this ruler and I use my JS Hobbies and Crafts ruler. Um, for an easier measurement, you're going to cut it at 10. Okay, so leave 10 inches. So we're going to go ahead and cut these down. Alrighty. Okay, so now you have your papers at 10 by 12. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and um, put tape on here. Okay, we're not going to tape them together yet. All right, so you can put your tape on here, just like this. And just lay that right on that side and burnish that down right on the edge of that paper, okay? And then you're gonna go ahead and just lay that right on top of there, okay? You're not gonna lay that, tape it down yet, all right? So, what I want you to do is I want you to put your ruler on the bottom part here, okay, just like that. And again, I'm gonna go ahead and use my grid just to make sure everything is centered. And what I want to do is go ahead and get your ruler, put it on where we did our little tally marks, okay? And you are going to draw a line right along the edge where that line where we did our little tally mark, and you're just going to draw it all the way down, okay? To your next half of your sheet. Okay, again, I'm just going to use this, oops, And I'm just drawing a line all the way down. <clears throat> okay. Then I'm going to go ahead and put down all my pieces. So I'm putting my piece here, right in between those little tally marks that we did at a, a one and a quarter inch. Okay. So I should have enough space up here as well. Okay. Then you're going to get your two and seven and a half inch piece. You're going to lay that down. And I usually use my ruler to kind of help me um, set that in place so I know that my items are in the correct place where I want them. Okay, 
so there's one. Here I'm going to do the same thing. So I'm going to put that here. I'm going to hold that down, scoot this over, okay, and grab my other, my second piece, scoot that down, okay, just like that. Grab my third piece, do the same thing, or my, I should say my fifth piece. So you're going to grab your next piece and do the same thing, okay? And that's going to give you your, where your layout is going to be for your chipboard pieces. Your last chipboard piece, okay, you're going to grab your ruler. Again, you're going to go ahead and measure out to a quarter inch. Okay. That's where my quarter inch is. And I am going to go ahead and draw a line all the way up. And that's where I'm going to go ahead and cut that this piece off okay so that's why we didn't um, tape this piece down yet so you're gonna cut that off alrighty so now we can tape down our pieces and you can go ahead and put tape on the back of these pieces Okay, to put tape on the back of your pieces, you're just going to simply grab your um, tape and you can get one inch, two inch tape, or three quarter inch tape over at JS Hobbies and Crafts. Okay, um, they have a nice selection there where you can grab um, some tape. And this Sukh Wang tape is awesome. Okay, and um, it's the double back tape, it's really good tape, really like it. Um, I use it on all of my albums as well as my glue. Okay, so um, definitely take a look at that. Go ahead and put tape there. And you're just going to burnish that in just like that. Okay, just like that. And you're going to do that with each piece of your chipboards, okay? So on the back, you're going to put your tape. And once I'm done, um, I will be right back. Um, the other thing, uh, once you're going to go ahead and we're going to attach this right now. I'll show you that real quick before I go. And you are going to go ahead and tear down your tape just a bit. Make sure you have this right up to your edge of your tape on the top and on the side all right just like that then you're going to grab the tail of your tape okay and you're going to go ahead and make sure that it's on there really good You're going to go ahead and just peel that down all the way down just like that all right and so there is your book your your um i should say not your book but your, <laughs> your um cover <laughs> for the book <laughs> and i will be right back <laughs> hi guys i'm back so now i put all of my score tape on my chipboard pieces and we're going to attach them to our paper so um, you're going to go ahead and take one of your of your uh, four and a half by seven and a half pieces, okay? And I'm just going to go ahead and take off all of this tape, okay? And I'm going to show you how I put mine on, and then um, you can go ahead and put yours on, and then I will come back on, and we'll show you how we're going to go ahead 
finish off our book so we can get started decorating. Ah! <laughs> so, and then we can go ahead and we can also do our pages and uh, all of that fun stuff. So where we made our little marks down here on our paper, we're gonna go ahead and set that piece right on those right on that air right in that area okay and again I'm gonna go ahead and I'm starting at the bottom first because that's where my line is and I just want to make sure that it's gonna be on there correctly so once you have your chipboard on there you are going to go ahead and grab your little spatula or whatever you've got and you're gonna burnish that in Okay, just like that. All right. Next, you're going to grab your ruler. Okay, and I go ahead and I'm going to use this ruler here because this is the one I usually use. And I put it on the tip or the top part of where the edge of the the corner piece um, of the chipboard is right here. Okay. I run that along up the side of the chipboard right here okay and to the top of where my finger is I'm going to grab my next piece which is my spine okay and I'm going to go ahead and put that right there right next to it okay and I'm gonna butt that up right against that so it's touching my finger at the top and it's touching the area right in through here um, of my ruler okay so I'm going to take the tape off Okay, and then we'll go ahead and do that. And then I, you will do your, um, the rest of your pieces the same way. Okay, so you will just run that up uh, right along the top of your ruler here. Okay, put your ruler right along the side of your chipboard piece. Scoot that down. Okay. You're going to get this piece, run that right to the top part of that ruler and where you drew your line for your pieces on where they're going to lay straight across that line. Okay, just like that. And that's what you're going to do all the way down here. <laughs> okay, <laughs> the next piece is going to be this one. And then you're going to have this other one that's two by seven and a half that will lay there. Okay, so that will lay like that. And then your last piece is going to be the two and two and a half inch piece. And that's going to lay like that. Okay, so again, you're going to go ahead and take your pieces off and you're just going to lay them like I did these two pieces next to each other.
All right, okay, so went ahead and we laid down all of our pieces, and now all we're gonna have to do is we are going to go ahead and fold up your ends, just like this, okay? And you can go ahead and grab your score tool, okay? And you can go ahead and just kind of run it along the tops of your um, chipboard pieces, okay? Just like this, just to kind of score it in, all right? And you're just going to go ahead and do that on the top, the bottom, and the sides. Okay, just like that. And then you will have an, an easier time on folding in your um, paper, okay? Now, you can go ahead and burnish that in. Okay, I sometimes, once I fold my paper down, I run my my score tool along the side of that paper just to kind of um, square it off. Okay, just like that. All right, I'm going to turn this around and again I'm going to go ahead and fold this up and I'm just going to go ahead and run my score tool. Okay, right around this area, just like this. And I'm going to go ahead and just burnish that down a little bit. Just to kind of square it off, give it, you know, a little bit more of a, a fold. Just like that. And same thing up here. I'm going to go ahead and just square that off. Once I fold that in, I'm going to go ahead. Burnish that. Bring it and over again. Fold that in. And I'm just going to go ahead, burnish that down. Run my score tool along my little fold there just to square it off. And there you go. Okay. So now that we've done all of that part, you're going to go ahead and we're going to cut the edges like you do like you um, regularly on your mini albums. Now, depending on what you like to do, um, you can always cut it, um, you know, this way. A lot of people like to measure it and they just go ahead and they make a cut like this, okay? Um, and that's fine. If that's the way that you do it, then go ahead and do it the way you feel comfortable with, okay? I personally <laughs> cannot seem to get that down no matter what I do. <laughs> and so I have um, an alternate um, way that I do it. And I just go ahead and I kind of go in a little bit here, turn it around, and kind of go in a little bit there, just like that, okay? And that's how I do mine. Now, um, you can go ahead, once you're done, you can go ahead and cut in a little bit more or, you know, however you like your edges to look, okay? Um, it's totally up to you. Um, I just go ahead and cut where that X is, okay? So I just angle in my scissors a little bit and I cut to where that X is, okay? Just like that. And this one I need to do a little bit more. Okay, so once you get that part done, then you can go ahead and however you like to fold in, you have um, that nice, edging there, okay? So just like that, all right? So you'll have that nice little edging, and then of course you can always just tuck that in however you usually do it, you know? Um, 
So again, I'm just going to go ahead and cut to where that X is there. And I'm bringing my scissors in, cutting to that X there. Turning it around, bringing my scissors in, uh, angled a little bit, cutting to that X. Again, angling my scissors, cutting to that X. And that's how I do mine. Um, again, a lot of people do theirs differently, so it's totally up to you however you want to um, do yours, um, you know. So, okay. So now after we get um, this, bind, this done, we're going to go ahead and fold these in and we're going to glue everything down. You can use your score tape if you'd like, or you could just use your glue. Um, for me, it's easier to just use my glue instead of my score tape. Um, however, I have um, I, I have been known to use both at the same time, or one or the other. Depends on um, how humid it is here, and I'm just going to cut these in just a little bit more. Want them to kind of match the other side here. So I'm going to go ahead and just kind of trim these up. to use your tape, you can go ahead and lay your tape across here around the bottom and uh, the edges of your um, chipboard, okay? Um, so um, again, you'll just grab your quarter inch tape, okay, and you will lay your tape against your chipboard here. Now for me, I just go ahead and I actually use my glue um, here as well. So um, I go ahead and I'm just tape along here just like this and I'm just putting it on the edge Go ahead and put the tape here. So I'm putting it there. Okay. Then I'm going to go ahead and take my little spatula and I'm just going to go ahead and burnish this down. Alright, now you can go ahead and put your tape up here on the edges of your um, flaps, but I don't do that. I just go ahead and use my glue, okay? And I'm actually going to go ahead and remove this. Okay. And I go ahead and just put glue right in that crease area. Okay, I put it right on the edge of my flap here, okay, and then I put it right on the angles, and then I go ahead and put some right in the middle, and that's exactly how I do mine, okay. 
okay and again I'm just gonna put tape here or I mean I'm sorry not tape the glue here and then I put it right in the seam area score I'm gonna go ahead and remove this piece okay and I'm gonna go ahead and bring this in burnish this down okay and you can use um, your uh, little wet nap if you want or whatever you usually use So I'm going to do that real quick. <laughs> Forgot about this side, you guys. Forgot about this side. I'm just going to fold this under. Just like that. Centered or something. I don't know. It's okay. It will not show once we get our papers on here. So. Okay. And I am just going to go ahead and burnish those down. right in here There is our inside. So now what you're going to do is you're going to grab your score tool or whatever you're using and you're just going to go ahead and go the inside of your um, areas here where you have that eighth inch um, gap, okay, for your, your binding, okay, that's what you're going to do right here. And you're going to go ahead and bring in your book, just like this. Okay. So everything will fold in nicely. Okay. So there is our book, you guys. Oh my God, it's going to be so cute. <laughs> so, it's going to be so cute, you guys, once we're done. I cannot wait. So, okay, we're going to go ahead and open this up. And next, we're going to go ahead and cut our papers out for this um, to cover the inside and put down our um, our uh, little hinge that we made so for our pages. So I will be right back. 